Hi Facebook Live, Sarah Calkins here. Good afternoon, happy Tuesday. Um, you're probably really wondering about the title of this, why I'm embracing mom guilt, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. Drop a one if you have ever had mom guilt ever. I can think of a whole bunch of scenarios where I've had mom guilt. Um, mind blank right now. Mom guilt, I didn't play with my kid today because I cleaned my house, or I didn't clean my house today because I played with my kid. Maybe you didn't get to go outside in those gorgeous days in February because something happened, you don't even know, remember why. And you feel really guilty because all these other moms are going to the beach with their kids in February and you're like, I didn't leave the house and it was really, really gorgeous and now I kind of feel, and I feel really guilty about this. Um, give us a f thumbs up if you have had any of those kinds of mom guilt. And I know I'm missing a bunch because whenever I hit live, my mind just goes blank. But I don't want to list, list a whole bunch of written things because then it gets boring. Oh, Gail, I love you too. Thanks. Um, so this is what we're going to do today. We're going to accept the mom guilt. So if you're our mom, accept it um, and embrace it. And that's my son in the back playing with blocks. So the only, this is how you can accept it. I looked up a whole bunch of blogs on mom guilt. And the reason was because I'm a part of different mom groups. And this one mom had questions and regarding just something she decided to look up. And, um, you know, a couple moms were like, here, these are good resources, which was awesome. There's no bashing. And at the end of this thread, she was like, oh, I really should have looked into this sooner. I'm such, such a terrible mom. Mom guilt. And I was like, what? How are, you, how are you a bad mom? You're looking into this. How can you have guilt over this? So then I was like, well, we've got to get rid of. Oh, thanks, Katie. Yeah. Blocks, blocks on the tables. It's a great, means kids are around. Um, so how can we change this mom guilt? How can we stop it? So I was looking online and all these blogs have like 18 different steps or 12 different steps to stop the mom guilt. And I'm like, this is not the way to do it because we're going to read these steps and then be guilty about feeling guilty. And that's just going to make everything worse. So how can we stop the mom guilt? And the answer is you don't. You accept it. You embrace the mom guilt. And here are two reasons why you're going to embrace the mom guilt. For one, it means that you haven't, you're not perfect. You haven't obtained perfection. And that's okay because we won't obtain, obtain perfection here on earth. And that's perfectly okay for our kids to see that mom has flaws and people have flaws and you love them anyway. And the reason number two, why it's okay that you have mom guilt, it means that you're caring. You care about your kids. You care about the state of your home. And that's okay to care. And it's actually a great, great feeling. So the next time you have mom guilt, be like, oh, I'm not perfect and I care. That's awesome. Give yourself a little pat on the shoulder. But I'm going to just take this a step further. When you have guilt, you still need to let it go. So there's two ways to do that because another, look, nice and easy, right? Really easy steps. Two ways to then let your guilt go. One is rectify it. So sometimes you feel guilty because in the heat of the moment, we might have snapped at our kid or yelled at them or gotten really frustrated with them. And you know what you need to do? You need to man up. Put on your big girl panties and go apologize to them because where else are they going to learn that you can't get angry and snap at people? And if you do, you need to apologize to them or to the person. So your kids are going to learn that from you. So right away, if you are, have done anything that has made you feel guilty and you have the ability to rectify it, go apologize to your children, apologize to your husband, apologize to whoever you need to if it's something that, you know, you feel guilty about when it comes to snapping at your, snapping at your kids or getting angry, right? Second thing is letting it go is accepting it and then saying goodbye guilt. Goodbye. You're letting that go because guilt can turn ugly. And the way that happens is if you've taken that guilt and you started telling yourself you're a bad mom, you're not good at parenting, your kids aren't going to grow up well, you can't keep the house clean, you never can, you never will, your kids are never going to obey you, your kids are, the list can go on and on and on. And the moment you say that, hearing those words, how does that even make you feel? It makes me feel as I'm saying to them, to you now, and I know they're not true for me, immediately my shoulders kind of, I just kind of feel like, oh man, maybe I'm not a good mom, maybe I'm not, right? So get rid of those, that talk because you know right away that that's going to turn your guilt ugly. And when you turn your guilt ugly, you're not going to have joy. When you don't have joy, everything's just whoosh, upheaved. And you're going to continue to feel guilty more and more and more. It's going to be a very vicious cycle. So today, if you have any guilt, any mom guilt at all, 
you're going to say, yes, I have guilt because I'm not perfect and because I care. And then if you can rectify it and apologize because it's something you did out of frustration or anger, you go rectify that, you go apologize. And if it's, and then now that you, if you can't apologize over it, it's just life. You just can't play with your kids right now because the house needs to get clean. Maybe they need to learn that uh, hard work comes before play. That's okay. You accept that guilt. You let it go. And you tell yourself that you're a great mom. Yeah, you don't play with your kids right now because you're cleaning the house. And you know what? They're, maybe bring them in right beside you and help them to learn hard work and how to clean. And that uh, play, fun, no. Fun comes before play. No, work comes before play sometimes. But then other days, it's okay to just play with your kids and let the house get a little, a little wild. And that's all right, too. So, um... Share this video with other moms that also feel guilty or moms that you know feel the mom guilt. I don't know really any mom who doesn't feel the mom guilt. Um, and if you're a new mom, this is this mom guilt is, I'm sure, already started for you. And if not, it's coming. But that's okay because you're a mom that cares and you're a mom that's not perfect. And you're teaching your children and they're bonding with you and growing with you. And that's a great thing. So, all right, everyone. I will see you tomorrow. Woof, just bang the table with my camera bell. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And... Brett, say bye. Can we like for a quick minute? Say bye. Bye. Say my mom is awesome. My, uh, my, uh, my, uh, <laughs> Yes, she is. And you can see, I have, I have a dirty sink behind me because this, this is coming first right now. All right, everyone, have a great day. I bye. Want